Well, Christian, these aren't normal circumstances that we're speaking to you in. You, you're joining us alongside a friend, aren't you? And, and how have you been getting on? Well, we're doing well over here. Um, we on the countryside, enjoying family life together. I think that's that's the most important one right now, that you stay together with your the, your closest family members, stay safe, stay healthy, stay at home, which obviously is a, is the main part. We are kind of blessed here because we have a big backyard, so we are not in our four walls only. We can use the, the forest that we have outside. We can use the backyard to play football, uh, which my kids obviously are crazy about all the time. And, and just to also enjoy the fresh air, I, I, I think... Uh, you know, sticking to those rules, to those guidelines that the NHS or that the government is telling you uh, to stick to um, are very important uh, for everybody to follow uh, so that we can get through this difficult situation uh, as good as possible. Absolutely, Christine. Yeah. Who, who is your friend that you've got there? What's her name? Oh, that's that that's Star. Um, it's my son's dog. He, he thought that uh, she, he should, we should name her Star because she has like a white mark here, which looked like a star when she was younger. Um, but she, she, she's a good, uh, a fellow family member, and keeps the kids busy as well. She's also enjoying the time on the countryside, so she's in the in the woods nonstop, nonstop. Yeah. How have you been getting on with the kids? Presumably, there, there, there's an element of homeschooling that you've got to do at the moment. Yeah, they they started homeschooling um, last week. My older son started homeschooling last week. Um, it's like four hours a day. Uh, they start at nine o'clock, um, finish at one. They even have uh, PE, <laughs> which, which is great. Um, my my younger son is five years old. Oh yes, oh nice little kiss. Look at that. My younger son, he is five years old, so he's starting literally tomorrow with homeschooling. Uh, it's it's very important. Again, uh, uh, as tough as it is and as isolated as you are, you cannot not go to school you still have to do your education and um, it was very good that the schools reacted fast and that they are now being taught everything they, they were supposedly uh, get to know in school at home uh, the setup is here I think everybody has to set up uh, so it's definitely an important part in this this self-isolation process I know for everybody out there that, that keeping fit and exercising is obviously vitally important None more so than, than yourself and, and professional footballers. So how have you been doing that yourself? Well, well again, we are, we are fortunate that we have a, a fairly big property out here with a lot of grass, a lot of woods, a lot of tracks uh, that we can... Yes, yes, I love you too. Yeah, and you love running as well. Well, first of all, I can do my, I can do my running program from Leicester, my workouts from Leicester. Um, besides that, it's a lot of wood chopping. Uh, yeah, we, we're heating the house with wood chops. Uh, we, we have two chimneys, so they have to be filled up all the time. Uh, it's a good workout here. Uh, and again, the, the fresh air helps us to also stay mentally healthy. Which is obviously vitally important. Uh, to keep fans oh, yeah. entertained on our social media channels, in, in recent weeks we've been doing a, a poll of, of Leicester City's all-time Premier League eleven. You've got a smile on your I've, face. I've, I've seen, I've seen some. Yeah, I've seen some. You know what's coming, don't you? Obviously, the left back was voted for, and by fans, they voted for you in that. So, how did that make you feel? Uh, again, I've, it, it's it's a big honour um, being at this club for now almost six years, um, having gone through everything with the club, like all the ups and downs, highs and lows. Um, but having this great success story of winning the Premier League obviously is is one of the best moments, of, you know, it's the best moment in my career. And then for the fans to not only, I, I think that the vote is not only based on this one season. It's it's based on how dedicated you are to the club, what you're doing for the club, and um, I, I think fans see that that I'm 100% committed. Um, that whatever my role is, I'm trying to give my best and. Again, it makes me very proud that I'm in this. I'm in this eleven. I'm in in there. So thank you, everybody, for your votes. Uh, really appreciate that. Yeah, and with fifty-eight percent of the vote, it was a, a resounding victory for yourself. Nice. Um, a big part of, of your game, obviously d defensively and going forward, as as well as a big part of your game. 
Um, we're also running a little thing on, on Premier League assists that Leicester players have got. So, I'm going to put you on your toes here and ask you a question. How many Premier League assists do you think you've got? Two that come to my mind right away is the Vardy, <laughs> the, 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 the 11th goal. And uh, one that comes to my mind is throwing at Crystal Palace, Robert Huth scores with the header. Well, let's say a total of 12. Oh, it's close. Oh. Nine. Nine, but still oh. very, very no, close. And a very, bad, a very good return for a, a defender as well. You mentioned the, the Robert Huth one and, and you touched upon the Vardy one. They, they're the ones then, presumably, that, that must spring into your mind, particularly yeah. the Jamie Vardy. Yeah, yeah the, I mean, the Jamie Vardy one is definitely yeah, the, the best one. Uh, um, it was a great assist, it was a great goal. It was amazing how the players came together and celebrated the goal. So the emotions in that game, again, it was the Premier League winning season, but then... It was Mart's 11th goal, consecutive goal, and the emotions how the players came together being so happy for Mart. Uh It was less about the assist, but more about the goal. Uh, but the moment itself was, was very enjoyable. Well, thank you very much for catching up with us, Christian. We'll let you get back to your wood chopping. Uh, but before I will do. I will do. Start start there, say yeah. bye to everybody. Say bye to everybody. Say bye. <laughs> bye. I'm going to help Daddy now chop the wood, right? Say bye. <laughs> Uh, before you do go, have you got any little messages that you want to give out to the fans that are watching this? Yeah, absolutely. I I know everybody is eager to see the Premier League back live, back in action, but um, as we can all see, there are a lot more important things than, than football only. Uh, this is about the health of not only us players, but the health of everybody. And it's so important to stick to the guidelines that we are given by the government, by NHS, wherever you are in the, in the world, because we also have fans from overseas. Uh, so stick to the guidelines. It's important to get through this period of time as soon as possible. Um, football is, again, not the most important thing, but if we stick to that, we'll have our beautiful game back faster than we all can imagine. So thank you. Stay safe. I'll do it. So you're in charge as well. <laughs>